Hi crypto fans, this is Guy from the Coin Bureau and in this short video I'm going to give you a quick review of the Theta token. Before I get into it though, I need to make it clear that we've not received any payments or mandates to do these reviews. We do our research and present our views for educational purposes only. It also goes without saying that I'm not your financial advisor and this is not financial advice. Oh yes, and one more thing. If this is your first time at the Bureau, then you may want to hit that subscribe button. We'll re be releasing regular daily videos with the latest and greatest from the crypto space. So with all of that stuff out of the way, let's get right back to the Theta token. Theta token is a decentralized video delivery network. Their vision is to provide high quality video streams without the buffering issues often seen today. In addition, they plan on utilizing bandwidth and storage from users to reduce the cost of video streaming while also improving the quality. This is particularly relevant today given the amount of bandwidth that's been taken up by video content. Currently, these videos are distributed through content delivery networks, that's CDNs. These can sometimes be slow and expensive, but most of all, they're centralized. The Theta token wants to be the decentralized alternative to this. So how will this work? Well, let's take a closer look at their technology, shall we? There are two key parts to the Theta token network. These are the video delivery network and then the Theta blockchain. The delivery network is essentially a P2P mesh network of users who will share their bandwidth with users nearby them that are trying to stream video. So instead of relying on a large CDN provider with fixed data centers, you can use the bandwidth of someone who could be right next to you. The benefits of this is that the data does not have to travel that far, which then improves video quality. And this could also reduce costs. Theta has claimed that their solution could cut the cost of delivery by up to 80%. Theta is currently working on client server software that will help you pick up the closest node to you in order to reduce the travel distance of the content. Pretty neat. Now moving on to the Theta blockchain, this is the consensus layer of the Theta network and will handle payments and rewards in the ecosystem. Consensus is achieved through a proof of stake mechanism. Of course, there is always a risk of centralization of nodes with this mechanism, so in order to stave this off, the blockchain was designed with two levels. You have a small group of 20 validator nodes that will produce the blocks. Then below this, you will have what has been termed the pool of guardians. These number into the thousands and are responsible for validating the blockchain at set points, so an extra layer of trust. Now, if any of this has confused you, then you can always read our long form review that we've linked to below. Another central component of the Theta token network is, surprise, surprise, the Theta token. It's actually two tokens, as the Theta network operates a dual token system. Theta are the main take token that will be staked on the network by the node operators. Theta Fuel, that's T Fuel, is used as a utility token in the network in order to pay for bandwidth from the node operators. Theta tokens were initially issued as an ERC20 token on the back of a private sale ICO that took place at the end of 2017. They were able to raise about $20 million, so initially well funded. This was in exchange for about 30% of the initial token supply of 1 billion Theta. Secondary trading of Theta began in quarter two of 2018 and prices remained range bound. However, in March of 2019, there was a rally in anticipation of the mainnet launch. And with this launch, ERC20 holders could exchange their tokens for the native Theta one for one. And here's a side note, if you're looking for some tools to make the conversion of the token, we've linked to them below. Now I want to move on to the team and advisors behind the Theta token as they're an impressive bunch. The project is being led by Mitch Liu, who is also co-founder of Sliver.tv. He's an MIT grad and he also holds an MBA from Stanford. The rest of the team is comprised of similarly impressive members who have backgrounds in blockchain development, streaming, software engineering, etc. This team has indeed been quite active, as you can see from the regular commits that they have been pushing to their core protocol on GitHub. Oh yes. The project also has a pretty star-studded advisor pool. You have the likes of Stephen Chen, who was the co-founder of YouTube, and Justin Kan, who is the co-founder of Twitch. I mean, who better to advise a decentralized streaming service than those who develop the main centralized versions? Anyways, let's move on to the token market structure, shall we? Both Theta and TFuel are traded on the open market. Theta is listed on a number of exchanges, including the likes of Binance, Huobi, Upbit, etc. However, the bulk of the volume is trading on Binance. 
Here, there are healthy turnover levels on the books, which means a decent dose of liquidity, good for large orders. You also have pretty decent liquidity levels for T-Fuel on this exchange too. If you've bought your Theta tokens, then it's probably best to store them in an offline wallet. Which wallet you choose will depend on what you intend to do with the tokens and what token type you have. If you're looking to stake Theta, then you're best suited to download their core wallet, which offers the staking functionality. If you're just looking to hodl your coins, then you can also make use of third party wallets. It is important though to identify which types of Theta tokens you hold. If you hold the ERC20 variant, then you have a plethora of options when it comes to storage, including numerous hardware wallets. However, if you don't hold these, then your options are rather limited to the wallets on offer by Theta itself. We have linked to some wallets that you may want to consider if this is the case. So, in conclusion, Theta Token is indeed one of the more impressive projects in the altcoin space. They're trying to offer a viable alternative to the monopolies that control content delivery. The team is a strong one and they've been actively pushing out updates to their protocol. The release of their main net in March, although delayed, was a big success. Yet, are there challenges? Well, of course. This is still the initial stage of the project and their decentralized video streaming is yet to be tested on a large scale. They've set a high bar for efficiency gains and throughput, so if actual testing falls short of this, then the token price is likely to react. We'll be keeping a close eye on the project as they roll out more of the functionality that they've outlined in their roadmap. Well, that's just about all, folks. But what do you think of the Theta token? Do you have any questions for me? We'd love to hear from you in the comments. Oh, and of course, if you found my overview to be beneficial, then don't forget to like and subscribe. Always appreciate the support.